When you've been sculpting in Blender for a while, you will find yourself to fall into certain traps and problems that could have been avoided if you were aware of them. Today I will give you my top 8 warnings and problem fixes in Blender. Enjoy! If you've been sculpting in Blender for a while, I'm sure you've went through this, where you're sculpting your character for a long time, you hit the Ctrl Z button to see all of the changes that you did, you try to go back with the Ctrl Shift Z button, but it does not go back. You just lose all of your work. Well, I'm gonna show you why this happens and how to avoid it. Okay, so the easiest way to show you how this happens is to demonstrate it. First thing I'm gonna do is activate the dynamic topology in sculpt mode. You can do that with the Control D button. I'm gonna do some changes, so I'm gonna move this around, really big changes so that we can see what's going on. So imagine I've been sculpting for a while, maybe an hour or two. And then I'm done with this. So the first thing you can do is hit the Control Z button to go back to each individual stroke, right? Control Shift Z button will go the other way around and get back to where you were, which is perfect. I go out of the sculpt mode, I hit Control Z button. It will remove all of the strokes that I did. Again, this is a really good thing. Sometimes you're working on the face of the character, you do a lot of small changes and you wanna see if it's worth it. So that's what you do. If you like all of the changes that you did, you can hit the Control Shift Z button and you go back to all of the changes that you did. So far, so good, right? It's not what I talked about earlier where you lose all of the work, but that's because of the way I use the Control Z button. I'm gonna do this again and show you what happens. I'm gonna go back to Sculpt Mode, Dynamic Topology, Activate, I'm going to do some changes again, so the same thing, I'm going to move everything around like so. And once I'm done, I will just grab anything else. So let's say you're sculpting the hair with the body at the same time, and that's something that you do quite often actually. And then you want to go back, so you go out of the hair, so back to object mode, you hit the Control Z button, and both of them go back to the initial sculpts. If you hit the Control Shift Z button, only the hair gets back to the changes that you did. So you basically lost all of the work you did on the clothes. And that is simply because I did not go out of the object mode for the clothes. So if I click on the clothes again, you're gonna notice I'm still in sculpt mode. Because of this, I lost all of my work. So even if I go back to object mode, I try to hit Control Z, Control Shift Z, I'm not gonna get it back. So here the tip is to avoid this, make sure that when you're sculpting, so if I do this again, activate dynamic topology, I'm sculpting over here, then I go to the hair, I'm sculpting the hair as well. If you want to hit the Control Z button, make sure that you go out of the sculpt mode for the hair and for the clothes. If you do that, Control Z, Control Z, you're going to see that it goes back to the initial sculpt and then shift Control Z, shift Control Z, you get back the clothes as well. Well, anyways, make sure to save your file before you hit the Ctrl Z button until you're used to doing it this way. Many times when you're sculpting, you will end up with a thin object, and that can be quite problematic to sculpt. So let me demonstrate. If I grab the hoodie over here, and you can see it's quite thin, and I go to Sculpt Mode, activate the dynamic topology, let's say I want to add some volume over here. So I can add some mesh which looks perfectly fine. If I turn around, you're gonna notice that it's affecting the other side as well. And this is an issue. So what you can do is let's go back. If you go over here, you can activate the front faces only. By default, it is not activated. So once you activate it, it will only affect this part. So let's try this again. Turn around and as you can see, it's perfect. But before you end up doing what I try to do and activate this all the time, don't. It will cause some problems when you're sculpting your character in certain situations. So what I like to do is I always keep it off by default and whenever I'm working on something thin, I just activate it and then deactivate it when I'm done. You probably already know that the Boolean modifier in Blender allows you to merge objects. However, sometimes it does not work like we want it to. So for example, let's say I have the big sphere over here I want to add the boolean modifier, select the small one, change the operation to union, apply. If I delete the original small sphere, we're going to have the merged objects. So if you go to the sculpt mode, use the shift button to smooth the corners out, we can make sure that everything is working as it should. So far, so good. Now I made another scene that is identical to this one right over here. 
but I changed it a bit so that it will cause a problem. And this is something that usually happens with characters, actually it happens quite often, so just check it out. If I add the boolean modifier, so the same as the first scene, I select the small sphere, I change the operation to union, when I apply it, it should do the same thing, but it won't. So if I delete the small one, I go back here, go back to sculpt mode, with the shift button, I can smooth things out, and you will notice that it's just not working out like it should. Even if I go to dynamic topology to further demonstrate what's happening, and add some clay strips over here. As you can see, it's just, it's doing something seriously weird. And that's actually quite simple. So if I go back to object mode, hit the Z button so that we can see what's going on, we'll notice that there is some mesh on the inside. So this is causing a problem. If I go back to before we add the Boolean modifier, when this happens, you should play around with the overlap threshold. So if I hit the Z button before applying it, right now everything is green. However, the inside part should not be green because this is the part that will be included in the object. So if I play around the threshold and pull it down, you can see at a point we lose the green part and we only have the blue one. So if I apply it right now and I remove the small sphere, go back to sculpt mode on the merged objects. I can smooth things out. And as we can see, we have no problem whatsoever. In some situations, you will find your mesh with some holes. Once that happens, well, you can't really continue sculpting because if you do, it won't really go away even if you're using dynamic topology. So if I hit the T button over here, activate dynamic topology and try to sculpt over this, as you can see, no way. Even if I use the shift button, it's just going to become worse. So what we can do over here is go to the edit mode with the control tab button. You can get the select mode, switch to edge. Once you do that, hit the space button, look for manifold. So M A N I is more than enough to find it. Select none manifold. There is a hotkey over here, but it is so long. I never really remember it. So that's how I get it. Once you do that, you can use the hotkey Alt F to fill the holes. Or if you go down over here to mesh faces and you go up, you'll find it over here. So fill. And once you do that, no problem. We can make sure it's working. So sculpt mode. If I smooth things out, it works perfectly. Here's a really quick warning and tip. Make a habit of scaling your objects in edit mode. So here it is object mode. Always scale it in edit mode. If you do like what I did over here and scaled it in object mode, you will change the transform of the object. And this can cause some problems later on for rigging, texturing, and other stuff. So let me show you what I mean. If I create a new cube here, by default, the scale is at 1, 1, 1. If I go to edit mode with the tab button, scale it up like so, and I go back to object mode, you're going to notice that the scale did not change. However, if I scaled it in object mode, it will change the scale. Now, if you ever do that, you can always fix it by hitting the control A button and applying the rotation and scale. So now it's back to normal. And this is something I usually do at the end of the sculpt, just in case I did the mistake of scaling objects without going to edit mode, I fix it this way. If I grab this object over here and I do the same thing, control A, rotation and scale, you can notice that we have a problem with the normals. Now this can be easily fixed by going to the tab button. So just hit the tab in the edit mode. We can use the control N for normals and it will flip the normals and put it back to normal. Wow, that was a bit redundant. So if I go back to the object mode, you're going to notice that all is good. And that's why it's good to always hit the control A button and apply the rotation and scale so that you can fix any issues that you got. One thing that happens quite often when sculpting is breaking the symmetry without noticing. So here, if I sculpt the upper body, it will affect the left one as well since symmetry is activated. However, when going to the hair, you would usually deactivate the symmetry because it has a non-symmetrical shape. So after sculpting the hair for a few minutes, generally you would forget to reactivate the symmetry when going back to the body. So let's say you turn around and you don't notice that you're sculpting without the symmetry. You could spend a good amount of hours on the arm, the body, 
And then once you go back, let me just do something obvious over here. Okay. Once you go back, you'll notice that the right side is not symmetrical to the left side. So instead of going back to your old saved file and redoing the whole thing, all you gotta do is activate the dynamic topology and then hit the symmetrize. Just make sure the direction is right, which in this case it is not, so I will change it to this one. You can just test it out if you don't know. And there you go, now the left and the right side is exactly the same. If you want to avoid any lagging when sculpting your characters, pay attention to the distribution of the density of your mesh. So to show you what I mean over here, I am going to grab the torso, go to sculpt mode, let me just take out this over here, activate the dynamic topology, and by default we are at relative detail. Now I personally prefer to use this option over here so that I can control the density on the go. So let's say for example I want to sculpt the abdominal area. Now to do so, I can take a look over here and I can see that this area won't require a lot of details. But this crease over here for example and these areas as well you will need more details to show these shapes so to demonstrate this if i grab let's say the pinch brush and i get really close i hit the z button since we are at relative details if i add pressure over here it adds a lot of details if i do it from far away it will add less details right so we can use that to our advantage to, for example, let's see, maybe for this area, I'll sculpt it really close since we need more details to show this crease. And for the lower parts, I can sculpt it from further away. And this becomes second nature with experience, so don't really worry about it. The more you sculpt, the easier it becomes to control this. And as you can see from distance, distance and even closer by, you'll notice that it looks almost identical. We don't really notice that there's actually a huge amount of difference in the density. Now, if I do the same thing I did over here, on the other side, from far away, we won't get the same results. And that is because this area, as I have explained, it does need more details for this shape. So this is how you control the distribution of the density of your mesh. Let's say you're in a situation where you have a problem with your sculpt, it's not acting like it should, and you just can't figure out how to fix it. So even though I showed you how to fix the holes, let's just imagine that the method I showed you did not work with this character. Or maybe you have a double face, or you know, faces are all over the place. Whatever it is, whenever your sculpt is acting weird, there is one easy and sure way to fix it. It's by using the boolean modifier. So all you gotta do is just create a quick object. So with shift A, create a sphere, for example. You can put it over here. Let me just find a place for it. I can go to edit mode and scale it down with the S button and put it over the area that's causing an issue. Let's see, just make sure to cover it enough and once you're done, you can obviously play around with the shape, so I can go to the sculpt mode and push in the sphere. But you don't really have to do that, you can fix it once you merge the sphere. So once I'm done, I will grab the torso, go to the boolean modifier, and then pick the sphere, choose union, apply. Hmm, I did not pick the sphere, let me pick the sphere again and oh that was a bit laggy okay so i picked union i'm going to make sure that it works so as i explained earlier make sure that this part over here is blue otherwise change the overlap threshold so since it's working i will apply it grab the sphere and remove it there you go and go back to the merged object go to sculpt mode and in sculpt mode i can simply just smooth this area out and put it back to the shape it had and there you go no more holes so if you have any issues with your mesh again that you can't fix 
Just add the sphere, use the boolean modifier, and you're good to go. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art-related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes, and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, then you will definitely enjoy the next one.